Alrighty, I'm here uh, testing some new Rising Sun cards along with DZ. I, Howdy. Uh, I believe this is your first time playing with these cards. Say that again? Is this your first time playing with these cards? or? No, we played with River Shrine before. Um, plus one Sun. Trash up to two cards from your hand. At the start of cleanup, if you didn't gain any cards in your buy phase this turn, gain a card costing up to four. And what's a plus one sun mean, DZ? Uh, you remove one sun from the prophecy. Yes, indeedy. Uh, the prophecy, rapid expansion. When you gain an action or treasure, set it aside and play it at the start of your next turn. So, uh, if River Shrine... River Shrine... River Shrine is played at least <laughs> wasn't that funny. <laughs> uh if River Shrine is played at least five times, uh then the rapid expansion prophecy activates and this uh, effect is active for the remainder of the game. Uh so what do I think about that? You gain an action or treasure set it aside. So that's in general a strong effect, but makes it harder to do things with gain and play. Like if you expanded something trying to play it this turn, it would actually get set aside and you wouldn't be able to do anything productive there. Uh, I think we're going to see the Prophecy activate here. It seems like River Shrine is the best sitting around. Uh, trash two cards, like Steward or Remake, and I think gaining a card up to four is probably better than what you're normally doing on a Steward Trash two turn or Remake Trash two turn. That seems ne decent to me. Uh, four, probably River Shrine, I would think. What to do on three? I really uh, want to prick the Meg Channel's Resign button. Alright, I've, I've played my treasures. There'll be no oh other no, I missed today. my chance. Uh, so we got plenty of villages, we got pl plenty of draw. I think Fool's Gold looks decent here. I could even see buying ruins and just periling them for loots would not be bad either. Fool's Gold seems more efficient to me. I'd rather have the 4 2 for River Shrine, Save an Estate, Fool's Gold. But it was not meant to be for either of us, apparently. Hmm. So I could buy a Fool's Gold, or I could gain a Fool's Gold off of River Shrine. Oh. Easy choice. If I save, I still get the Fool's Gold. And this River Shrine card is actually kind of strong. Hmm. I'm going to take a Worker's Village. Actually. Make it easy to get uh, multiple Fool's Golds on future turns. Yeah, probably. I see that you are copying me. I take that as a sign of flattery. I don't know, maybe I should probably just buy a werewolf already. What you doing with that werewolf? Trash again. Save again. And buys. And I would like... I think just another worker's village? The prophecy is impending. So the prophecy triggers when I play my river shrine next. And so by the time I'm activating its effect, actually I'm not activating its effect, I'm buying things, but by the time I'm buying things, I'm gonna get the rapid expansion effect. How exciting. Hmm. So many choices. So it's got to be Werewolf and Expand. Final answer. This seems like it's going to get explosive from here. Another Werewolf. So much money. Save an estate. Fool's Gold, Worker's Village, Werewolf.
Hmm, I kind of feel like I'm behind. Well, with that attitude, you are. Gotta believe in the heart of the cards. So why do I keep saying I should not buy safe here? Drawing seems not that difficult here, actually. But here we see uh, a potential downside of rapid expansion is I got my deck in my hand, and the natural inclination here would be to do something like expand River Shrine to expand, draw it, play it. But whatever I gain here is just getting set aside into Sadness Land. Um, wait, what happens? Let me read ex rapid expansion again. So if I attacked you with a Marauder, you would set aside the runes and play them at the start of your next turn. Yep. Darn. I guess Mighty's not that good, actually. Hmm. What a surprise. Well, uh, I guess just more werewolves. Should I eat plus pie? Probably. I'm not even sure the trashing copper is worth it here. I'm kind of overdrawing. Uh, so let's just add a bunch of payloads. And with seven. Expand it actually just seems a lot worse when you can't gain and play with it. That's like the main benefit of buying or gaining stuff off instead of buying it. Um, hmm. Hmm. It's kind of ugly, but. Oh, huh. Yeah. Look, Fool's Gold was out. Expand is kind of handicapped by rapid expand. There weren't there weren't other options. Okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures. You know that. Eighteen, seventeen. Okay, uh, piles are fairly low. Again, there's no gain and play to be done here. And I guess there's no pile out or anything. This river shrine should probably die. Um, Did you ever regret buying it that much? It, no, 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 no. It's um, lived a long and uh, fruitful life. It's going to go to the, the river shrine farm in the sky. Uh, I add more werewolves, I think. And 30 is a big number, so they say. Let's score a bit. I think if I take some of these, I'm probably threatening pile it somehow. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, this is pretty bad for me. Oh, he's activated my trap card. Hey, what even was that? Fool's gold. <laughs> oh, it's easy to forget <laughs> that it has a reaction. But in fact, it does. Okay. Um, yeah, I assume you're winning here. I assume I'm winning as well. Let's see. I'm just going to trust that this turns into a win. I need 15, 23, 25 money, looks like. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, I think River Shrine outclasses Remake or Steward, kind of the most equivalent cards in your average kingdom. Gain 4 is a pretty good effect. Um, rapid expansion, definitely on net a positive thing, but the expand anti-synergy demonstrates that it is not unambiguously good. Yeah. Okay. Is there are, are you separate videos, or are you just kind of combine them all into one? Uh, we're, we're just powering through. All um, right. Okay, so this game, we've got Poet. 
plus one sun, plus one card, plus one action, reveal the top card of your deck, cost three or less, put it into your hand. Oh, but notably, not a card that costs three or less. All that self synergy could exist with something like Canal. Uh, we do have a bunch of cheap cards here that kind of synergize with Poet. Kind of like a little mini seer. Uh, and Poet will activate Panic. When you play a treasure, plus two buys, and when you discard one from play, return it to its pile. So treasures are all one shots. Um, seems like. Uh, I don't like Puka. I don't like Puka one bit. Puka is. Uh, could just be a one syllable card. That would be equally accurate name. Uh, I'd rather just play <laughs> a bunch of poets and then all of a sudden panic ensues and all my coppers disappear. I feel like it's probably the way to thin. The question is where is it, the payload coming from? Because all the other all the other payload is also treasures. Hmm. Well, the thing with panic is that you can just just keep buying poppers. Yeah, like worst comes to worst, the plus two buys are there, so that you play a copper, you can buy two coppers, and then that might just be your payload is buying coppers until you can get up to the point that you buy a one shot gold and it gives you a province. Um. Oh, we haven't looked at the art. I I should have more closely examined the art of the previous two cards. Poet, I think. Yeah, looks right. Pretty solid. Uh, I like the background especially. Looks nice. Uh, I like Poet a lot. Yeah, Poet, I'm going to give that like an 8.5 out of 10 art. Panic. Um, looks a little better at a distance. I think the closer you look at it, it's, uh, it's like a 4 out of 10. Child looks more confused than panicked. <laughs> um... So anyway, I'm laughing at it, but also I also agree. Yeah. Why am I putting my coppers in play when all exists? Because I can buy a rat catcher, that's why. I don't want estates. I kinda kinda feel like the skirmisher pile is gonna be annoyingly annoyingly good here. In a kingdom where treasures uh, evaporate. I don't know, man, there's more grave. Yeah, but Margrave doesn't give you money. Margrave just gives sadness. Um, I have three money. That is true. Well, I'm sure it's poet. Uh, trash. Uh, don't you dare. I think I'm gonna tackle this Margaret. Yep. <laughs> but I just trash. Don't you dare do it. Alright, eat this. You jerk. Alright, since you already have two poets, I'm 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 not gonna I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna get a poet myself to activate the prophecy. That makes you a freeloader. You are free riding on my poetry. Do I want a town crier? Maybe. <laughs> good poet. Very good poet. Uh, why did I just trash with this immediately? <laughs> I could use one of them snowy villages. I right, sure I'll get a poet too. I was thinking, oh, you could get a treasure trove, and then you add a bunch of coppers and, and golds to your deck, and then they go back to the pile, but you just you keep them coming in. But the treasure trove returns to the pile too. Uh, Alright, I'll get some payload. 
Coming imminently. All right, goodbye, coppers. For money, not sure offhand what I want. Well, but I'm a really sad turn. You, you cannot attack. I cannot attack. This is blanks me. Why gain a silver? Isn't that just like taking take, like two money? <laughs> that's just two money with extra steps. Do you need the yeah, extra right. two buys or seven not enough? Uh, not really. Uh, one thing here is that Chris Gold does not have a pile, so I keep it forever. Oh my so goodness! Well, I hadn't thought I'm about that. I'm not gonna that. play. I'm not playing it now because I don't want the curse, but but what do I want? You still get the plus two bias. As if I need that right now. Apparently you do. Uh, let's buy some coppers. Greedy. That was a poor order. If I played my poet first, I would have a very happy hand right now. <laughs> Hopefully it'll all work out in the end. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit panicked right now. Oh, my copper is about to disappear. I'm going to have two money in my deck. How many coppers do I need to rebuy? I don't know. Uh, I'll have to do it easy. Uh, maybe buy a gold? I don't think that's it. <laughs> that's like buying the spoils. Oh, I tried. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it's less bad than usual because the gold gets itself back out of your deck. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what I want. I'm going to take it yeah, first. You could buy a skirmisher to attack me. I did. I hope you feel attacked. Copper is some big greedy. Yeah, that returning animation is slow. Is it? I didn't notice. What's your animation speed on? I'm on speedy. Oh, same. Hmm. I'm gonna I'll try to pay attention next time. <laughs> Maybe right, playing that Snowy Village first was actually bad. Yeah, I would have played the Margrave first and then the Snowy Village. <laughs> On the upside, now you have coppers left over for next turn. Blacksmith, hello there. <laughs> That order. I 
wonder how embarrassing this video is going to be when you upload it. Not at all. <laughs> Everyone knows that you're people are going to watch this video and be like, are these people, do these people seriously play test this set? They suck. No, they, they know that uh, you're trying your hardest. I have six money. <laughs> Those are my coppers again. Would you be willing to rotate it to Elder? I think I want Elder. I don't think I trust uh, it rotate maybe. it to Elder. I could, I could really use an Elder right about now. Hmm. <laughs> Panic by coppers. Oh, it didn't rotate. You performed great service today. I sense a dud incoming. Uh, maybe I should have bought one more copper. Barn. Maybe I should have bought one less copper. This is gross. I'll take the curse for some one extra money. Set times. Hey, why did I buy four rat catchers? I'm never going to use them. It's like a potential one shot poet synergy. Oh, that's a sad turn. These decks are are not progressing quite as rapidly as the previous game. For some reason. And this is also a sad hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am shocked that I'm able to get this final elder. Ooh, uh, hmm. I guess I played in this by the elder normally. Oh, you're playing all these cards just to buy one card. Mm hmm. Man. All right, take that. I also getting fairly low. that poet after this is a daisy there's the snowy village seems I could use a few more coppers What do I want?
Verdade. You don't have to do that. And do I play province? No, no, I wouldn't. You're going to clog up your deck. Although I am about to lose four junk cards right now. Maybe like a duchy and two estates instead. I guess I'll just do this. <laughs> this turn is going splendidly. I probably bought too many coppers at one point in the game, and then I just go behind. I'm, I'm not understanding. Too many coppers, that concept does not register. Uh, well, I'm sorry to do this, but I need to plus buy. I think I'm actually discarding the Margrave. No, don't discard the Margrave. Wait, do you seriously not have any more treasures? I have a cursed poem, you fool. All right. Hmm. What was the third card you kept? Snowy? Yeah, Snowy. It's definitely like the kingdom where the responsible thing to do is probably to have more than one of those. Uh oh, I'm about to lower the curse pile. If you just play the curse, it will return itself to the pile. Oh, this board doesn't have Charlatan. I guess four. Hmm. Where's my other blacksmith? Town crier it is. There is no blacksmith. Well, now, now you're choosing to stand a silver town crier. Indeed. Hey, where did you get all those points? I don't like that. I finally got to use this rat catcher. Oh, okay. This is a dud, so I probably just lose. <laughs> That's the spirit. Uh, what were the other cards on day one? Oh, these two, right? There was a third uh, omen and a third prophecy. And 
I know exactly which two they were. They were Rustic Village and Kind Emperor. Rustic Village is strong because when you play it, your opponent has to look at it, and it's uh, it's very damaging to the eyes. Uh, you have to look at it. Plus one sun, plus one card, plus two actions, and then a voluntary vault sort of effect. Uh, it's a pretty decent village. Oh shoot! It's a it's an event that you have, you can't show. Oh, we saw nothing. Oh, I actually turned Rising Sun back on. Whoops and daisy. Did you just do that you between games two and three? That from the video. Did you did you uh just do that between games two and three, or uh, yeah? We just got lucky. I, I hit clear game. selection. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> As we were saying, this one is Kind Emperor. At the start of your turn, and when you remove the last sun, gain an action to your hand. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is, uh, that is a very Kind Emperor. Mm. Okay, you want to play Rustic Village Kind Emperor Rebuild? <laughs> I was wondering about that. The problem is, like, if you if you rush the rustic village, and both both people get the the rebuild effect off of it. Yeah, and oh yeah, village is very good for rebuild effects. Right. The sifting might not be bad for rebuild. You don't need to hit price points. Um, Crucible makes sense to me, I suppose. Sage. I think this sage might end up being very sad. Indeed, it will. <laughs> um, oh, do I trash? No, I'm trashing Chase. Was gold? No, now it just raised. Yeah, this was a bit of a uh, unpleasant draw. Ooh, a souk. Fancy. You know what? We're going to rebuild after all. <laughs> Watch me lose to it. Things that would be work. funny. We're not working out. Uh... <laughs> so now my sage can find my duchy. Sweet. Oh, this is this is real sweet. Uh, I don't think I can afford to play this raise. Uh, goodbye, duchy. Oh, goodbye, smile. Goodbye, duchy. <laughs> it was good while it lasted. Do I trash the steward? I don't think so. Yeah, I would, I would get rid of the steward. Got the one victory card in my deck. I did not you name gold there? What? I can name gold there. Well, I didn't want to hit the gold. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's a silly question. Excuse me. Uh, this is not working out the way it's supposed to work out. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? That's what you get for opening stage. Uh, apparently. Steward probably would have been a better card in that hand. But no, it still would have been pretty bad. 
nothing would have salvaged that. Um, the the turn three three estates I think would have been bad for either opponent. Oh, that's some fancy province building right there. Oh yeah, just one province. <laughs> All right, here's Kind Emperor. Uh, body steward. I don't understand why you're building a deck when you could just rebuild things. What a kind emperor. Let's not kill a province this turn. I think this is a province on top of my deck, if I'm not mistaken. So I should play the raise first. Maybe just the rebuild. Have you considered that you have too much money? Uh, no. Uh, for greening. Yeah, there's no way you're piling out with that deck. Um, I think you forgot about a certain kind emperor. Rebuild is unstoppable. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 you have little faith. Why why have a deck when Man, you was, can have a rebuild? Right, that, that, was, that, was, that was embarrassing. You might delete this video right now. <laughs> Captured for posterity. Your great grandchildren will look back upon this with shame. They're going to have to change their names, or at least the last initials. That was pretty fast rebuild though. Right. Turn eleven is uh, atypical. <laughs>